How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I thought I'd share with you my fall must-haves. It's scents and hair care, skin care, makeup, just a little bit of everything. So if you guys are interested in hearing what products I picked out for my must-haves, keep on watching. Okay, first of all, I want to tell you that uh, when it comes to skincare, I am combination to uh, dry. So when it's spring and summer, I get more oily in the T-zone and then I'm dry in the other areas. But when it comes to fall and winter, I really, really get dry skin. So if you fall into that category, maybe some of these products that I'll share with you in the when I get to the skincare uh, might be something to your interest. So I thought I'd let you know that beforehand. And obviously my hair, when it comes to hair, I have thick, natural, curly hair that needs to be colored and fixed up. I am getting my hair done by the end of this month and I'm gonna get a little bit of a different color. We are in fall now so I kind of want to get some red tones in my hair. I've done it before and I, I hope you like it. So well, let's go ahead and get into the scents first. So scents, uh, like most of us we think of warm scents like with the vanilla and you know like warm vanilla uh, pumpkin or something like that. I wouldn't want to wear something that has a pumpkin scent. I like the smell. Okay, so scents for perfume or body sprays. Now I use all kinds of perfume. I'm all over the place for the most part, but I'm sharing my must-haves in products that I do uh, pull out more in the fall time. Cashmere Glow, I really like for Bath and Body Works. And, but I think they just continued it. I'm pretty sure they did. And I'm so disappointed because this has that wonderful warm vanilla just warm vanilla scent. This so screams fall to me. So I will be wearing Cashmere Glow a good bit and spritz it on my body. And then speaking of body, Burberry Body is another one I pull out a good bit. I do, I have used it a couple times in the summertime, but mostly I do gravitate more in fall and winter. And again, it just, it has more sophisticated warm scent though. And oh my gosh, just love the smell of Burberry body. If you don't smell this, oh, I just, I love the smell of that. Now let's go on to uh, hair care. For hair care, I rotate a lot. Most of you guys, if you've watched me for a good while, you know I rotate my hair care a lot. I don't use the same shampoo and conditioner week after week, day after day. And I do only shampoo my hair twice in a week and then do a deep conditioner deep condition uh, once through within the week. So that's kind of my hair routine. But these I feel like they're really going to play a good part in the fall and winter. And I really come to like Nick Chavez products. Well, I ordered the mega sizes of these because I do really love these for what they do to my hair in manageability, getting rid of the frizz, just everything. But his products, these here, have hyaluronic acid in it. Do not let advanced volume, because when I see the word volume in hair products, I back away from them, because my hair is thick, natural, curly hair. If you have thick, natural, curly hair, you wouldn't have to be afraid of these. Don't make my hair too puffy or big, as you might think it would when you see the word volume. They don't do that, and they have hyaluronic acid in it, uh, keratins in it, soy protein. So I highly recommend if you get a chance, this is his volume, advanced volume. So deep conditioning, hair mask, like I said, it's really important. One I would gravitate and buy all the time, and it's very affordable, is the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist Mask. This is the three times moisture, and you leave it in for three minutes, and that's just about it, and it really leaves your hair nice, soft, and manageable. It, it it just it gives you a nice deep condition in your hair. As you most all know, I love my hair serums and my hair oils from Joyco. And it is a pricey guy. He is like $21. But as you can see how far I get on him. And I do have a hair oil from L'Oreal. That's really good. And I do have the Tresemme one. That one's really good. 
So if you're looking for more affordable, you can look at L'Oreal or Tresemme. This one from Joyco, though, I just love this one so much. It is pricey, but it's really good. And it's the K-Pak Color Therapy Restorative Styling Oil. On to skincare. So one of the things I definitely need is one of my rose mists. My rose mist sprays. I love a good rose mist spray. This one's pretty good from uh, Sue. I do like... Uh, Mario Badescu, I like his, and the other one I have, I forget the name of the company, but it's really nice too. So yeah, definitely love a good rose mist spray. For cleansers, I forgot to bring out my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Love that cleanser. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It is a very hydrating cleanser, so it's a really good one to have. But I also, also love the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Cleanser Vitamin A and glycolic acid. I love this cleanser and I feel it's going to play a big key role for me in the fall and winter time. So masks, I have a couple of them here. I love a good clay mask because it does pull out the impurities and deep cleans the pores. One of my favorites is the uh, facial clay mask chocolate and strawberry. And I feel it's it, it deep cleans but it also um, plumps my skin, smooths my skin. I just, I really like, well, it says moisturizes and tones. So right there you go, right on here. So yeah, love this stuff. Another mask that I would gravitate to uh, would be this the, from the body shop, the uh, Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. This is my savior a lot of times. What it does for my skin, it nourishes it. It make, I, it gives me a glow. That's the other thing. It gives me a nice glow. So I love anything with honey in it. You probably see a lot of honey stuff here as it is. But So here we go. Honey. Another one with honey is I bought these. These is. These is. These is. These is. Okay, so this is a 20-minute miracle mask and it's honey and ginseng with collagen and vitamins. Now, Two of my favorites are right there, the honey and ginseng. Anything with ginseng I love because ginseng helps brighten the skin, you know, helps the hyperpigmentation and everything. And of course, honey, you know, it's going to help with uh, the moisture and hydration. So I cannot wait to try this out. I have a funny feeling this might be one I like. And I got this at TJ Maxx. I love good sheet masks. We're going to go ahead and talk about... Uh, hydration and moisture. I really have liked this Astro Woods Naturals Matrixel 3000 Argoline Vitamin C. I mean, I have all three in this guy right here. And it's from Astro Woods. And I really, really, really like this guy here. I usually put it on at night a lot of times, but it depends. Sometimes I'll put it on during the daytime, like today I did. And I usually do about three to four drops and just pat it in. And it's not thick. It's more, it's not too watery, but it's definitely not like a thick oil of any sort. If we're going to talk about an oil, I haven't tried any other brands. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I just know I've always liked the Josie Marin, Josie Marin Argan Oil. So I don't know why I don't go and try other ones, but the Josie Marin 100% uh, Argan Oil, I have to have this for sure, especially in the winter time. So I usually add it mostly at nighttime in, in my nighttime regimen, uh, if needed especially. Before I add that, and I love this stuff. Now some people didn't see any results. I feel like I did to a degree in some areas, and it's the Pure Argon Milk. I love this stuff. It really hydrates the skin. It does give me a glow. So I usually put this on first and then I lock it in with this on some nights. You know, I don't do it all the time because I rotate with my skincare. So my skincare like does rotate around from each day. But I do put this on first, then this, and it just locks all in. It, oh, it is just a wonderful pair. Now this I just got at TJ Maxx and I am really loving it. I don't care for the scent too much. It's not horrible, terrible, uh, just a ho-hum kind of scent and it's not nothing great, great, but it's from the company Lanolin and it's a Manuka Honey Skin Renew Firming Cream. 
and I've got this one in my TJ Maxx. It, like I said, yeah, it's not no great scent, but it's a really thick cream. And oh my goodness, when I put it on, it's not too thick where it's so heavy you feel it on. It, you can feel it firms your, I can feel it's firming my skin and hydrating my skin and gives it that plump feeling. I love this stuff and you can use it either day or night. This is something I put sometimes on during the daytime, especially definitely in the fall winter. I don't really use it too much in the spring and summer, but it is the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. Guys, if you see this, if you have really dry skin and you need that little extra hydration and you're maybe saving, needed to save your money, this is like $5 for this big tub, 10 ounces. Soaks right into your skin, like on, like right away when you put it on, it just, it's like your skin drinks it up really quick. And speaking of your skin drinks it up really quick, I, if you go into your Walmart, I've told you guys, if you see this Aquaful stuff, get it and try it. It, you use it only three times in a week and it's a mask. It's like a, a deep hydration mask. You only do it at night. So basically what you do is you do your normal routine. You even put on your moisturizer, your, your last thing, your moisturizer, and then you put this on top of that and it locks everything in. I'm telling you guys, this is, I'm going to be stocking up more. I really like this. And it's from Maskology. Maskology Aquaful Easy and Quick Pouch, Hydrating Pouch or something like that pack. Okay, and then for my body, I have to, I mean, I do it regardless any time, spring, summer, winter, fall, whatever. But, you know, especially winter time is a good scrub like a sugar scrub or whatever you know something like that this is the moroccan rose one from tree hut tree hut is one of my favorites very affordable the shea body butters i really like using these a lot too this one's also in the moroccan rose that's one of my favorite scents right now anything with rose scent though but yes so I like body butters a lot. I highly recommend checking out Tree Hut if you haven't. So several foundations that I know I will go through um, coming up here too is the IT CC and this is the Illumination one. Both are fine because I feel like both do about the same thing. This one obviously just gives a little more luminous skin. So anything that has to do with more glowy skin, uh, Things that you know we want to have more glowy skin when it's in the fall. The other one is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. Um, I believe they call this the hydrating tint, but I really I I just I do. I love this product. It gives a nice kind of sheer glow. You can build it up, but it looks natural. So yeah, the Hydra Boost foundation from Neutrogena. Another one here is from Pure Cosmetics, it's the Hydra Fluid foundation from pure cosmetics i really like this one so i'll be pulling that one out and josie marion josie marion vibrancy uh, foundation i really love this one too so for a powder like a setting powder after i get everything on i will probably really be using a good bit of the cover fx and this is in light and it is the illuminating setting powder we're going to be talking about blushes one blush in particular I know I'll be using and grabbing is the Rose Champagne uh, from Wet n Wild. And this is just, as it speaks, really gorgeous color. Another one is uh, from Milani. This is the Berry Amour. That's what it looks like there. That's the Berry Amour. One of my favorites, and I feel like it will give me a little more color on times that I just feel like having a little flushed color and it's Lorac Flaunt. It's their Baked Matte Blush Flaunt. This has to be one of my all-time favorite blushes of all. That's saying a lot compared to how many blushes I have and it is more of a bright pink but oh my goodness and it packs a punch. 
right there it is. I love that one. It's probably one of my favorite blushes of all. This I just recently got, and I think this will work great, is this Prosecco Pop Highlighter on one side, and then the blushes on the other side, which is called Dark Amaretto. <laughs> my thing fell. So there's the blush, and then there's the highlight. So it's a nice neutral blush. It's really pretty right there. Amaretto right there, the highlight. So lips. I definitely need a good lip scrubby. This one from e.l.f. is really good. I mean, I've used the crap out of it, as you can see. This color from ColourPop. I don't, is it? Yeah, it's one of their ultra glossy lips. This is in the shade Master Plan. So yeah. That I can see me wearing. Oh yeah. For a nice more neutral shade, I got the Nude Cream from Milani. Is this, yeah, this is Milani. Number 26 Nude Cream. What you would think, it's a nice uh, nude color. Right there it is, up on here. The other one from Milani, I have to put it on the other hand. This one is called number 42 Rose, Rose Femme. Rose Femme or something like that. A deeper color. You can see I used that a good bit. There it is right there. This one's an affordable one. HD Revlon Lips. Honest to goodness, I can't read it, but it's in number 705. So I'm not even sure, but yeah, there. 705. Right there it is. HD Revlon. I've really been getting into and they're from Wonder Beauty and it's like a double dual sided lipsticks and I'm really liking these. This is a BTS. Just a nice nice neutral shade there. It's oh no it's more of a um like a, a lavender shade or something. I'm not sure it's really pretty. That's BTS. This one I had on in my last video that I did my Lorac look it's called Expeditionist. This is the one I had in my other video with the Lorac. That's it on the end there. Pretty. The other one's with the neutral shades. Girl Boss. I love this one. Yeah, this Girl Boss is more deep, darker brown nude. These are really nice lipsticks. Right there it is. Girl Boss. And this one is Misbehave. Misbehave is a nice neutral nude. There it is. Misbehave. Misbehaving. And then palettes. I'm probably going to be everywhere with palettes. I, I just, I know I'm going to be everywhere, which is good because I'll be using my palettes and going through them and everything. And that's what you want to do. But ones that I think I'm going to go ahead and work with in the whole rotation and I feel like because they have some of the colors that I'd be looking for in creating some looks for the fall and one would be and this I don't think you can get no longer is the uh, master uh, palette from Mario oh my gosh I used this like crazy uh, last time. So really, really pretty colors in this one. You probably see, I have quite a few of the Anastasia's uh, palettes. So uh, Master Palette from Mario. The Subculture, definitely, because it does have, you know, of course, a lot of the colors that speak, I mean, fall seriously, like just beautiful. I love this palette. I am so glad I went for it and grabbed it. And then the other one, like I said, these are a lot of Anastasia's palettes right now, but uh, I'm still working through them. Is the modern Renaissance one? Oh, and I mean, like for the berries, you know, and everything in here, the orange and the berry, and all those shades. I mean, you know, yeah, totally screaming for this time. And then my new Lorac palette, which you saw me do a look with this and everything. You know what, guys? Honestly, like I have all four. I have one, two, three, and four. And I love them all. I do really love all of them in their own little 
you know, kind of special way. Uh, two for me was my most favorite. I think I would dare say this could end up being second to that. I feel like this one is so unique and different uh, compared to all the colors that we have been seeing, like with the berries and the oranges and the cranberries, um, you know, just all those, all those kind of shades, the, um, those real warm tones that this makes it extra special because there's it's a little more different and, and unique in that sense, something different and refreshing. So that's another thing, you know, it has some beautiful greens in here. So I, I'm, I'm going to work this into a lot of my looks too. And then lastly, the Jaclyn Hill palette. Definitely, this has some gorgeous colors that you can work with. And it does have the orange and the um, beautiful yellows and stuff too and green it just it has a mixture so but yes i'll be working in with this but that is my fall must-haves uh i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you guys so much for joining me i really appreciate that you know what i am very tired if i did not seem with it uh i do want to get this video up but i am very tired i only had maybe an hour of sleep. I had to go to a meeting this morning and it was just a rough night. So yeah, I'm feeling it right now. I'm so tired. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that very much. And put a smile on my face, of course. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week and make sure you hit the bell because if you hit the bell it will notify you and let you guys know when my new videos are up and ready to watch so and i'd love to have you guys and as always bees please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care i will see you then i love you guys Mwah. bye